Hey guys, Craig here again. Uh, another quick update on the M1070. Um, I'm going to cover steps 11, steps 12, steps 13, 14, and 15, oh, and 16 as well. Okay, and step 17. And that's where I'm at at the minute with the beastie. Okay, so step. Um, 11 then is putting the radiator together uh, you've got a bit of photo etch that goes on the top which I'll show you shortly the horns um, brackets for a toolbox to go on the rear ramps and some photo etch for the um, fifth wheel on step 11 there's nothing um, dramatic about that at all uh, the photo etch bends real um, nicely around the top of the um, radiator there's nothing hard about that one at all. Step 12 is you've got some photo etch sheeting that goes down the side, which is like, um, or supposed to be a guard to stop rubbish getting into the engine. You've got the toolbox, which builds up to this, the fifth wheel. Um, and as you can see, if you don't glue the centerpiece, it swivels left and right, and it'll also swivel backwards and forwards as well. Okay, on here, on the fifth wheel itself, it shows you that the um, the release handle to open the jaws on the fifth wheel. Um, there should be a hole in the side. On mine, there wasn't. Okay, so I've just slotted it in behind this little bit here. I'll show you where I put mine in a minute. Then it's on to battery boxes. or well, the battery box, some photo etch here. That's real easy to, to get into there. It fits real snugly. Air tanks, more air tanks. Um, these brackets are to hold the fenders on, the front fenders. Step 13 then is the opposite to um, the other side. So you've got the other photo etch piece there, um, splash guard, fitting the uh, fuel tanks left and right. Um, and then the fenders, lots of photo etch going on here. You've got the photo etch um, mud flap, you've got a photo etch bracket on the front. Um, you got some metal bars, oh, where is it, the metal bars, where it says metal piece, <coughs> goes, <coughs> sorry, goes over the headlights, um, they give you two options, you can either have the clear piece for the headlights, or you can have the moulded plastic, which looks exactly the same, it's just um, moulded plastic instead. There's some photo etch for the back, um, which goes onto here, it's basically two pieces, um, that's bent to roughly, uh, I think it's said on there, it's about a 20 degree angle-ish to give you this. Sticks onto this piece once you've bent that into shape and then that goes onto the back of the um, fender. Um, fairly simple process on that one, exactly the same on the other side. So this is the other fender, wheel arch, little bracket. Um, you've got the slave lead on the back of there um, to jump start the vehicle. And that's pretty much it. Then it's on to the cab. Steering wheel assembly. Um, the actual dashboard itself. A piece of photo etch to go over this thing in the middle. The actual making of the floor. The engine tunnel and the firewall. Um, Aircon unit in step 17. And the controls for it on the top. You've got brake pedal. Handbrake and transfer box lever, air filtration in the back and the fire extinguisher, the seats, um, these are pretty awesome seats in all fairness, once they're all completed they look really smart, um, I believe there's a photo etch kit that changes this into actual photo etch, um, but seriously once they're in you're really not going to need them, they are pretty, pretty decent looking seats in all fairness, maybe could have done with some sort of fabric sort of um, design on the actual cushions rather than just being flat plastic but hey then it's rear bench for the cab and how to make that uh, the detail on it's ridiculous even going to the extent the part that you can't see that's behind the cab they put all the little bracing supports and all the nuts and bolts and everything in there uh, on the back of the cab um, then it's assembly to the whole thing um, and that's as far as I've got um, and mainly the reason for that is 
at this stage, once you get to here, you've got to paint the inside. Because um, when you get onto the next stage, it's putting the walls on, the rear wall for the cab, uh, windscreen and all that. And then you're pretty much going to be left with the top part um, to get your paintbrush in or your airbrush or whatever. And at this point, you've also got the windows in if you follow the instructions. Um, so you might have issues there. So at that point, this point, you've got to paint the cab. Okay, so we'll go back a couple of pages. So onto the actual model itself then. Um, there's the overview. That's where I'm at with the chassis. That's the chassis complete now. It's got the fenders on, lights on, radiator on. Uh, all the toolboxes, battery box, air tanks, uh, fifth wheel and the sliders and everything. So on the fifth wheel, like I was saying to you just now, uh, let's try and get in there. There's supposed to be a hole, if I can get that zoomed in, there we go. There's supposed to be a hole around here for the fifth wheel. Um, jaw to release there wasn't on mine I didn't drill it I've just placed it underneath in that position there um, but other than that that's the only issue I've come across really um, with this stage of the build anyhow when it comes to the ramps um, you need to make sure that both when you build them you build them as a separate um, component then you place them on however you need to try and get them on the chassis because um, they both sit flat obviously you can't get it wrong it's got locating um, grooves where they fit on the back end of the ramps you've got the photo etch um, let's try and get that zoomed in a little bit there you've got the photo etch on the end here and here oh, and here and then there's also some photo etch that goes in here um, and all it is Let's try and get that zoomed in a little bit. Is that going to zoom in? Come on. No, you're having none of it, are you? There you go. All it is is it looks like a couple of nuts and bolts. Okay. Um, air tanks and everything. Absolutely no issues with that whatsoever. That's fairly simple. There is a photo etch case that goes around the underneath of that battery box. Again, it's not going to zoom in for you. There you go. The photo etch piece is just here, brass bit. Um, this is where you put the fuel tanks, if you haven't uh, sussed that already. However, when it comes to the steps on the underneath, half of the fuel tank at the back is there's no detail. Okay, but what I did notice is the actual bracing lines up with the fuel tank bracing. Okay, and I know mine haven't. These haven't been filled and smoothed or anything yet. You're not really going to see it once it's on its wheels anyway. Um, same with this side. Line them up with the bracing. You can't get it wrong. Okay. This air tank was a bit tricky. Um, it's When you put in, following the instructions for it, on here, the J8 pieces fit onto the chassis and then you put the air tank on top. I did it the other way around. I put the air tank onto these. And then use the air tank to put it in because it is a little bit tight in there. Um, if you've got fat fingers like myself, it can be a little bit awkward getting into there. Okay. There's a couple of photo etch parts. There's a part you stick here, as you can see, just above the fender. Um, it tells you to put it on at an angle and it tells you to bend it at a certain angle. And the reason for it is because it's supposed to line up with the um, fender and then that pit gets tacked down onto the actual fender so it's um, supporting. I've just got to tack that in, mine's still a little bit loose there. Um, but that's basically why they're telling you to bend it in a certain way and angle it. So it actually fits nicely onto the, the fender and it will support it. You've got the slave socket there, so if the vehicle um, does conk out and you need to jump start it, that's where you'd plug your slave lead in to jump it off another vehicle. Here's the photo etch piece for the top of the radiator. Um, some I noticed with this um, just pay attention to that little nut on the top because it's quite easy to have this the other way around and it won't fit 
okay so make sure the little nuts at the top and this is why this piece was loose and you don't glue it in at the start because you may need to remove it to get it onto there first okay put it on the top and then get it back into the holes and then nip it in okay um, also you've got the air horns you can't really see the detail on the radiator but it's it's all meshed um, it looks really nice it's just not picking it up so much on the deep on the camera there's the lights with the metal bars um, I've chose to go for the clear pieces um, the photo etch supports for the headlights which hold the bars in place as you've noticed I've left the clear pieces off the side here although in the instructions it says fit them but I'm going to leave them to last because I'll paint them clear orange um, and then just stick them on top rather than spraying it and trying to scrape it off or masking it off or whatever same script on this side you've got the angled um, photo etch that you saw just now same thing it fits onto the actual fender and then it attaches to the actual um, chassis itself if, so long as you've got it in the right place okay on the inside you can see the photo etch um, splash guard on that side and then same on the other side you can see it up there inside the wheel arch that's supposed to be a thick rubber um, like I said it's just to stop oh, crap getting into the actual engine bay and making it unnecessarily dirty um, nothing to say about this side really like I said to you the fifth wheel moves left right up and down as um, so long as you don't glue it down so it gives you that little bit of option that once the trailer's on it will self adjust to where the trailer is so if you have it stuck down you put the trailer on it might not fit properly it might look a little bit daft or the pin won't go in so if you do leave that loose you've got that little bit of movement there left right up and down um, for the trailer to fit however whatever angle you want it at so that's pretty much the chassis then um, I've also done the steering wheel as you can see um, again a little bit over engineered for what it actually is it this is three separate pieces you've got the steering wheel as you can obviously see um, then you've got a universal joint um, as a separate piece and then you've got the um, gear lever and everything on the side there as a third piece um, that UJ then fits onto the cab and as you can see mine's actually painted um, primed up it's still drying in places but there's a, a shaft there that goes down into the footwell um, and that UJ connects to that um, giving you the um, the assembly a little bit of photo etch that goes in here a little handle um, that's fairly straightforward another handle that goes on this side photo etch on the top here um, and then all the little levers and everything oh I missed a bit under there look um, but there's the seats in all the glory uh, bench that's what I was telling you about the back they've even gone to the extent of putting the, the brace in on the back of the um, bunk there and that's pretty much the cab to be honest so like I said at this point now you have to paint this okay or you're just gonna run into trouble um, so mine's going to be all green get the decals on it and that should be good to go um, then it's on with actually building the cab up and around it and all the accessories that will go in there um, but in essence that's good to go um, so that's where I'm at at the minute moving forward with this project um, the next update will be 18 which is the cabs and windows then it'll be more than likely 19 the underside of the cab 20 uh, roof support or roof on the cab more cab aircon unit and everything <coughs> 21 we'll probably get that out of the way as well on the next update yeah we'll, I'll probably get all the cab finished to be fair for the next update and get that onto the actual vehicle um, and then the bit I'm absolutely dreading is the winches because uh, that is just pretty much 
photo etch, photo etch, photo etch, and more photo etch. Um, and more photo etch. So, yeah, I'm going to enjoy that, I don't think. Um, or I could just leave it off and just use it as a, a utility vehicle. You know, paint it some other colour, like a civvy colour. Nah. Um, so, that's where I'm at anyway, guys. Um, so, if you've got any questions again or any hints tips advice or you want to know anything what i'm doing then just give us a shout in the comments um and look forward to giving you the next update as soon as i've done it so cheers for that guys and speak to you later